So, our augmented one storm this week, we're going to be discussing the various ways that Pokemon Go could introduce some new mechanics that could actually help out the Go Battle League. Because currently in the works is the premium raid passes <laughs> will actually be changed to battle passes. What? Yeah. I'm going to lose all my hard work premium raid passes. <laughs> no, they're just changing the name. They're st you're still going to keep them. Well, but how does that work with the raids? It'll work the same. Oh. But it'll be, instead of a premium raid pass, it'll be a premium battle pass. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> not that much of a change. It's just the way that it, they're just rephrasing like... it. Yeah. Well, they're just trying to gener generalize battle, the new battle thing with the raids. Mm -hmm. Instead of keeping them separate. Exactly. Which means they may introduce another type of battle. We don't know how, how else it's going to go. We'll see. Aww. But the battle passes, currently, currently you can't use your daily battle pass, your daily raid pass yet. For a battle. For a PvP, the Go Battle League yet. Which I think they could definitely make that small change and allow for players to get that free premium pass yeah, exactly. for a day. And that gives them that extra fourth or fifth battle that, that players are driving that players really want for the PvP system. Because, obviously, not everyone can actually go out and PvP. Exactly. So they have Rework. to have the battles come to them. But, obviously, that takes a strain on Niantic servers, so they're not going to roll it out just yet, for it, right? Well, yeah. Because if they can try have certain... If they can strengthen servers in certain areas during certain times... Depending on how much battling go takes off, it can balance from there, and it won't be a burden. Because if players are only playing once or twice a day, then it's not causing that much stress. Mm -hmm. But the first couple days and first week to a month, all of the all of that strain and stress on the server is going to be hitting as hard mm -hmm. as it can. Yep. And everybody gets it. Like, oh. <laughs> All the new stuff, and they have a new Pokemon in there as well. At rank four, it's Scraggy. It's a dark. Oh yeah, yeah. A dark fighting. Type. I was about to say yeah, fighting. <laughs> I remember that one. But with our augmented, Our'm our augmented Pokemon. one storm idea. Basically, they need to introduce more battle mechanics more battle pass mechanics so i was thinking that what if you get one pokemon knocked out of a gym and instead of once you had that one pokemon knocked out and you got your 50 coins for the day instead of getting coins again you get a battle pass i know that ain't fair because you leave multiple pokemons in multiple gyms but why do it because mm -hmm. that's just encouraging us it's just making it seem like I'm going to go to one gym. That's it. What if I want to go to multiple? There's no reward for me just leaving my Pokemon there. Well, yeah. The, Other than just the thing at the top. Well, yeah. That comes down to playing against the stats. So, you can fight multiple things and that only increases your medals. Or, if you're lucky enough, then those Pokemon will be returned on different days... And then you're guaranteed coins each day. Well, that, but then some people want some reward for just conquering, you know? Yeah. That's the game. Well, in that aspect, you actually get a... You get the chance, once your Pokemon's in there, you can actually feed it berries and then you get Stardust. Well, yeah. But if you don't have any Pokemon in there, then you don't get that Stardust. But that's also the thing that you have to have berries in order to... <laughs> Not those berries, Louie. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, uh, I'm hungry. So. You want your treat. He doesn't want to brush up on his treats. Can you take it? He doesn't want it. But yeah, okay. I don't feel like I want something. That's why they do need to do a rework for the gym system. Because it just makes me say, oh, I'm just going to go to my one gym, leave it there, it'll be there, and I'll get my coins there. I'm not going to any other one. That's mm -hmm. it. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, there isn't really a point to 
continuously take over Jim. Besides the... Because once you told I didn't know that. Once you told me that, I was like, well, what's the point? Well, there's actually a few points. One, it encourages other players to keep playing. Yeah. In addition to, it will trigger a raid to happen. But it's not necessarily a guarantee all the time. Because raids only happen during a certain time frame. And it's not a guarantee or what type of raid will actually happen. That's things that are in the background code that don't exactly that aren't exactly communicated. And sometimes raids happen from just spinning the stop itself. I mean, it doesn't even have to be coins. Like, it can be a mystery item. <laughs> well, yeah, that could work too. Give me something. Mystery item, and berries. then they cap it out or something. Cap it out at a certain amount a day. Yeah. Niantic. <laughs> Well, actually... You're like, no. Well, no, no, no. They do technically do extra items when it's your team's color. So, when it's your team's color in the gym, you actually get bonus items. It's Those bonus items are also correlated based off of the gym's standing, the means of your medal. So, the higher your medal, the more items you get. So I believe you get like an extra item per metal tier. Well, the JFK one, I'm almost at the end. Yeah. So when it's your team's color and then you do a seven day streak on there, you'll get like almost 50 items from it. Yeah. You because didn't tell set- me that? I would have chose that one. I wouldn't have just went to a random pokey stop every time I'm on day seven. <laughs> I forgot about it. <sighs> I forgot about... It's see that's what I mean. You have to find someone to Back teach to all, all over again, <laughs> because it's little things like that that just fall to the wayside that we all forget about because and we forget because I didn't know. We're always at maximum items because we're not using it as much or playing as much. So those little well, things are hidden in the background. They need to just take away the what? Are, what do you call them? Nab no blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> the nab berries. No <laughs> nab berries like. They're just stockpiling up in my thing. I have to keep deleting them. Well, see, that's Do they those really are work? always the ones that I feed. I use to feed other Pokemon or do other things like that. Because I'm like, I use it and it still runs. Well, yeah, the Nanabs aren't for keeping them from running keeping in them total. Calm. It's for keeping them still. If they're going to run, they're going to run. That's just your signals going out, in and out. So it's not as stable. So the game thinks that you're going too fast. Because if you're if they're running after one ball, that means the game thinks you're going too fast. Well, what if I'm sitting still? That means you need to let your game calm down for a minute. <laughs> because it thinks you're going too fast. Because one time... It's just that your signal is going back and forth. One day I open up my game and then it has me running. And then it runs back to the spot I'm at. And I'm like... Yeah. I'm like, I didn't go all the way over there. <laughs> well, it's what they call drift. So, quite simply, there's multiple towers that you're, you'll get your cell phone signal from. So, the way the Pokemon Go figures out your distance or your location is it will check one tower, the other tower, and then the other tower, and then it triangulates your location there. So, in that case, the drift happens in other places. So it can be a little tricky from that aspect. Tangent. It's still good information, so I'll probably still I'll probably still do our usual talking like this, but I'll do like specific segments for the exact information information dumps. That way they get their their information they want to listen to and then go from there. Y'all gotta remember I'm learning while y'all are learning. <laughs> yeah. Each one teach one. But yeah, the idea I had for the Augmented One Storm was just battle passes being given away for other things as well. So it could be possible rewards for maybe field research mm-hmm. for completing your week's worth. It could be an extra item like the way that the Sinnoh Stone or Unova Stone is. Well, the Dirty Augmented well, that's where I'm talking about a health tip or fitness tip. Which, when it comes to Go Battle League and you have to walk 15 kilometers, 
right there is reason is enough to be healthy. And for those who don't work in fast casual businesses, like moi. <laughs> well, no, we do. Fast yeah. casual, yeah. Um, Sorry. You don't say. So when it comes to a business like that, you're already w- walking or working, and in some cases, at least myself, you accumulate at least 10 kilometers while walking. Back and forth, all around the building. A lot of fun, you know. Just sometimes the first two letters are capitalized at you. That's all. Um, so the people that say they don't, they're too exhausted after doing that, I ask you, how do muscles grow? You have to push yourself past that point of exhaustion, and then that builds your stamina so that you can last longer the next day. Yep, so when you're running on the treadmill, it's like, <laughs> let me stop. Well, don't start off running, but walk after work, or walk a little before work, a little after work, depending on what type of job you have. Take that furry friend of yours out for a walk. Um, if it's a hamster, I don't mean take it outside because that little guy, when he's gone. Take that furry friend. <laughs> Loose your canoe. I'm talking about my Louie, so. <laughs> Inside jokes. House jokes. No, I'm not. Louie is. Okay. <laughs> So, make sure that you have your Adventure Sync turned on. You link up any fitness trackers. If you have an Android device and a Fitbit, make sure you download the extra application to allow for Fitbit to communicate with the Google Fit or the Android Health. Well, because if you have an iPhone? iPhone Fitbit should communicate with Apple Health. So, iPhone makes it pretty simple. You have a device that links with it. And then it will go through Apple Health. You just have to make sure that your Pokemon Go app is actually linked up to said fitness trackers. Well, I need one of those. Put it right in my pocket. Yeah. And I'm at work. Yeah, I keep mine on my belt loop. That way it keeps track of my distance. The other thing is, I believe... No, it should. The Pokemon Go Plus... Pokeball Plus is a Pokeball I usually loop loop the hand the wrist strap through the Pokeball and then put it from the belt loop into my pocket. That way it's not just sitting at the base of my pocket, it's like floating halfway through. And it'll count my steps as well through there. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not counting twice, but getting everything. It's still accumulating what it can, and it'll also keep It'll accumulate what you can. If you don't have a fitness tracker, you can always get the Pokeball Plus. Sometimes they go on sale. Sometimes people are just selling them on random places because they forgot that it links up to Pokemon Go or they don't want to use it anymore. And the nice part is it's rechargeable. So, always a nice benefit. eBay. (laughs) Another part for the Dirty Aug mentionables is try and get... Try and figure out what parts of your life can actually be sent to your other devices. So, for instance, there's an application called Pocket where you can actually send articles or news feeds to the application and will actually talk to text it for you and it'll allow you to fully focus on that that article so you can actually listen to it while you're on the treadmill or working out, something like that. That way you're not getting caught by clickbait or needing to worry about scrolling through ads or reloading anything else or getting distracted. You can just have, you can figure out all the articles you want to listen to or read, send it to the application. The application will then read it while you're doing your workout. I gotta try it. (laughs) I just heard about it today and I'm really interested. You gotta try it and then in the next video, you'll tell them how it was. Yep. That's usually how I did things. Louie made a new friend. Yep. Someone to wipe his drool on. <laughs> <laughs> his drool can kill 
talked about all last time. Last time you were here, he was in the bedroom and he didn't make a sound. Uh, so. He didn't even know who I was. Yeah. But he's like the <laughs> Well, he was hanging outside, so. Um, the other things you can figure out is if you have Microsoft Office, then you can actually get those applications on your phone or smart device. And you can then work on those projects or workbooks from your phone. That way you can be on the treadmill or down in your park, just walking around, taking a nature, taking care of everything else. Keep in mind if you're in a national park in some way, watch where you're walking. Yep, be there, mindful. <laughs> there will be branches anywhere and everywhere. Sometimes they spray paint them so you won't see it. Other times, bitches be tripping. Um, make sure you're mindful of it. Make sure you're mindful. I say it at work, too. (laughs) Hey, people be tripping on the rug. I see it too many times. (laughs) Yeah. I'm just in the deli and I see them not be like, like, good thing you have a coffee in your hand. Yeah. That's for sure. Um... What else was it? Yeah, I think that's basically it. Hey, we got it. Mm-hmm. And now you gotta go get that malt trace. Yeah, so give that application a try if you have a lot of articles. That way you can figure out which ones you actually want to listen to and learn from while you're staying educated. While you're staying educated. (laughs) The... There's various things you can do while you listen and you play. Plenty of podcasts out there you can listen to, or you can download our podcast, listen a few more times. We always love to have you. Stay augmented, my friends. We're going to call the episode here. I'll fill in the other segments in a little bit. Remember, good calls, good balls, and good luck. We'll catch you in the next one. If you want me back, like this video. (laughs) Like it either way. We'll always have him back.